Welcome to the Phoenix Empath Intuitive. We sometimes give our light and energy to people who never really see our worth. And sometimes we have to discover how to take our power and energy back by using affirmations, visual inspiration, oracles, and meditation. I am here to give you motivation on how the past is always our teacher and we can learn from each other. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you guys and I truly love you. Hey you guys. I am doing a read. Guess what song? R. Kelly, There Can Only Be One You. Always remember that. Always remember that. There can only be one you. Gonna pull, let's see, with the Mixed Emotions deck and see where we're gonna go with this read here. This is for you, Cancer. It could be you or the person that you're dealing with or people that are in your energy, in your circle. I love you. Peaceful. You're feeling peaceful right now. Because at one point there was grief. You were going through grief. But you're feeling peaceful, calm, serene, and centered. And so that's the energy that you want to stay in. Um, these messages are not to trigger you. They are to let you know how far you've come, where you're at, what you were dealing with. And if this is not for you, don't try to make it fit. Um, if you want to know any of the card decks that I use, all of them are, the links are in the description box, everything about me. Um, I'm going to start doing extended reads, so I'm just getting everything together. You've been dealing somebody, with somebody who made you feel closed in, trapped, and frustrated. Um, also with this, a single person, somebody who's... Uh, Current status is single, or maybe this is your status. You know, these are could be your energies or the person that you're dealing with. They were toxic. They had unhealthy behaviors and were dealing with people, and therefore you felt like you were in a runner-chaser type situation. So this could be your energy, or this could be the person that you're dealing with's energy. But right now, you're not in this space anymore. This is just to let you know, to me, how far you have come. Uh, because at one point you were heartbroken and you were sad when it came to dealing with this person. Yeah, and also being in denial. Another card came out. There would be a meeting. This card came out first. You were in denial and wanted to discuss and plan how to do something with this person. But um, yeah, there were too many synchronicities. And Archangel Raphael said that you are uh, prevented from harm. Divine intervention and protection is what had to happen in order for you to get out of this situation. You probably were searching for online records or somebody was in searching for what it was that uh, you were doing or this other person who whose current status is uh, single um, and that they're uh, available, this could be your energy, you know? So somebody could be looking at, at you after them bringing toxic energy into your, uh, your situation. But I think this had to do with past energies. This person, you know, you always wanted more or you wanted more from the situation because there was a chemistry here. But the lesson is done. You... Um, you have completed this. You're done. The lesson has been learned, and it says drama queen right here. Hold on one second. Okay, so yeah, I just think that the drama queen comes out when you felt like you were being thirsty and causing chaos with this energy of you just trying to have something with this person. I don't know. Uh, and it made you feel weighed down. So I don't know. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I'll go ahead and pull the type of person with the archetype deck. The type of person that this is uh, when it comes to this energy that's happening here. You know, you're done and that's the reason why, like I say, this is energy. It's not to trigger you. It's to let you know how far you've come and the type of person and that you do not want to deal with again. You know, you could have learned a lesson. Remember, no man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. But this person was closed up. Uh, was closed in, trapped, and, you know, made you feel frustrated when it came to trying to be something or uh, be something with this person. I don't know. Lockbox. Let's clarify lockbox. You know, they were closed. Okay. First of all, yeah, lockbox. Look at that. <clears throat> queen in reverse. The queen in reverse comes out. So, you were closed, you know, you felt like you were closed in and trapped when it came to this person and wanted something with this person and you felt like you were the only person that was in this energy, you know? We have the CEO. This came out this, I don't know which way it came out, so let's see if it came out this way. And I picked it up this way 
Is it in reverse? The CEO, this person is single, Aries energy. This, to me, CEO is Aries, introvert. This person is an introvert, very outgoing, you know, very outgoing, but toxic at the same time. Unhealthy behaviors and people. This is what this introvert um, displayed to you when it came to trying to um, pursue them, you know, chase. And, you know, that's what it ended up being is that you chase this person and went from there, you know, and so... That is the energy that you had to learn from, that how to get through this situation. Yeah, you had to use your higher self and realize that or look at it in a higher in a higher perspective and look at it like, you know what? No, I cannot keep doing this. You know, you, you were in denial for a long time and you just let them know that. I mean, you, you were letting yourself know and your higher self is like, you know what? Look at everything. You have lost your crown when it came to dealing with this person. You totally did something that you normally wouldn't do. You normally will nurture a situation. Goodbye is on by Jagged Edge. I don't want to have to say goodbye. You know, looking in the and wondering why do we have to, you know, whatever. But you got to say goodbye. And that's what your higher self let you know because you were taking yourself out of your position. Right now, you feel calm, serene, and centered because you have moved forward. But when you were going through this, and Archangel Michael lets you know that, um, you know, the sadness is coming from all of this energy and they are there to protect you. You know, you want this uh, insatiable, uh, desirable type of connection with this person and therefore you know you are taking yourself out of character when it came to you trying to move forward um in in uh, um you trying to move forward you know with this situation i don't mean it is on by r kelly denial you know um it's like i may argue with you but you know i don't mean it I may tell you it through. Y'all know I can't say. Anyway, denial comes in with the Leo being in reverse. Strength in reverse, okay? So the strength in reverse is struggle, pride, and weakness. You know, beauty. You can't even see the beauty in yourself anymore. The high roller. This person may not be a high roller anymore because it came out in reverse, but you don't even care what they are. You weren't able to create anything when it came to this situation. And is it a romantic connection? No, this wasn't romantic because this person didn't want the same things you want so they didn't want to you know wine and dine and do things like as if you were in a relationship something's changing because there's a meaning happening the high rollers in reverse maybe this person is changing up but again this is to let you know how far you've come if this person has changed up and you have moved forward and not worried about this person then therefore you're not going to be worried about what they're saying yeah they want to be friends now they want to be friends this meeting is happening because they're letting you know that i'm not a high roller no more i'm not a player i want to be friends i want to be friends and i want to air energy is here sage is here the sage came out in the reading last night this is scars you know this person uh always has to play the tough guy or gal however you want to say it but they have scars wounds that they aren't ready to heal normally they are loner and they cause everybody around them to feel numb and people like to cling to that type of energy but you know what you had to realize that you're the true mating in this situation and uh maybe a wallflower so they might have thought that but the capricorn is here you probably were researching and trying to figure out stalker and detective are right behind here. You know, you wanted to figure out about this night and the universe is just like, you know what? No, you've already. And that's where the bounty hunter probably is here for because all of this is you using your, you know, being in your higher uh, self and saying, you know what? No, or they could be researching you now that they want to be a friend. Now that you walked away from them and you were done, they could be researching you because the tables have turned. You know, the tables have turned when it came from you di uh, dealing with this person because now they've changed up. They realize what's best for them and it's not anything that they were going after. So the CEO has a change of heart. Does that make sense? Because the meeting is here to say that to you after they've researched you because maybe, you know, like I said, you were chasing them, but you went a higher route, you know, you were chasing them at first and now, and then that's when you left this situation, you know, because you were in denial at first and you weren't not facing the truth and you were trying to come up with a different reason, but you realized once you started looking at things in a different perspective, you realized that this person is um, not who you want them to be in your life, but the, you know, maybe this is their energy because they're realizing what it is that they did, you know, what they didn't do. 
You know what I'm saying? They were in denial at first, but they're realizing with the Leo and the beauty. They didn't see the beauty in you because they were a high roller. But now things are changing, you know, and they're looking at things in a different perspective with this being in reverse, you know. And so now they're asking you to meet with you after them researching you this night with the armor, you know, and the sage being here. They're researching you, their wallflower, their actual maiden. You know, based upon their self-destructive patterns with the devil card, Capricorn energy being here, they're researching you and trying to see what it is that you're doing. You know, they're trying to see what you're doing. And, oh, it makes sense now because look here. I didn't even see that. Searching, you know, online looking for info and records. So this person is looking and uh, trying to see. Hold on, you guys. Hold on one second. Yeah, I think that they've been researching you, you know, now that. You, you said you were done. You used your, your higher intuition to realize that, nope, this is not going to work. You know, this is not, this person isn't ready for me. So now, like I said, I think this is the energy of where you are now, you know. And so this person is online looking for info and records, you know. And that's why the detective, the stalker, and the night card, this knight wants to be friends. He has been researching and trying to see what it is uh, because he realized that he weighed you down and he caused chaos in your life with the drama queen you know he caused chaos in your life and felt that you were a drama queen until you removed yourself from this uh situation that's just kind of how i see it does that make sense because you're done you learned your lesson in regards to this and so uh now i guess uh right now i'll go ahead and pull tarot I don't know if I want to pull tarot on this information. Yeah, I'll pull tarot on this information. And then I'll probably come back um, with the other information. So, yeah, I just feel, I feel like, you know, like I said, you know, this person was that you were dealing with, you know, had you chasing them. And this is their energy now. They realize, and you already realized that you were done with this situation. Does that make sense? Um, so let me see. I'm going to pull from the DM confessions. I'll only pull a couple of cards from here. I'm trying to keep um, myself out of the picture because, nope, still haven't combed my hair. I'm just getting to the point to where I'm finishing. And it's not even that it takes a lot for me to comb. It does take a lot for me to comb my hair. But, you know, I just don't want to do it. How about that? I just don't want to do it right now. Um, so I've just been conditioning it. Being lazy, that's all it is <laughs> that I've been doing, is being lazy. So, there you have it. Um, hold on one second. So, we're going to pull from the DM Confessions to see where you are. I'm recording another. Okay, too many cards. So, I'll go ahead and take it. Whatever. Bottom of the deck, I never wanted to hurt you. I'm sorry. So, that's the reason why they're coming back. You know, they never wanted to hurt you after they realized what they did to hurt you or how they hurt you. They're coming back, you know, so that is uh, where they are with this situation, you know, and so, hold on one second. I'm trying to, I'm doing like 30 things at once just to make sure I get my information out here to you and go from there. Hold on. Let's see. All right, so here it is. It says, I'll never, I've never been so turned on in all my life like I am with you. Oh, they realize that, right? They realize that. And I talk to you within my mind all the time. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? Do you answer me? I swear you do. So that is where the higher self came out. You know, uh, if I could stay, I would, you know. So they had so much going on that they didn't want, you know, they didn't want to stay. So now they're changing up. How they're seeing things. Twin Flame. You are my secret mystery. Fulfilling every fantasy. They realized that you were the one. That was fulfilling everything. When it came to. What it is that they were doing. You know. And so. Uh, or what they wanted. Out of this situation. Relationship. Or whatever. Um, so that is kind of how. You know. They are looking at things. Or whatever. I do check up on you. To see uh, what you are doing. I told you they were watching you. With the. All of those things there. I, re I read and reread every message that you sent. Those words are deep in my heart. Because again, I told you, you kept trying to make things happen when it came to this situation. But after so long of you chasing this person, you realize that, you know what? 
I'm not going to be a part of this, you know. I'm not going to be a part of this. I can't be a part of this. This is taking so much out of me that it's just hurting me. And it's just causing more pain than anything else. And so that's the reason why you were just like, nope. Um, no matter how much this hurts, I have to walk away from this situation because it's not something that, you know, could ever help me. It's only going to hurt me even more. Does that make sense? So hold on one second. I'll go ahead and put this to the side. Um, and I think that's it. They do check up on you. I'm going to go ahead and put all the other things to the side. I've never been so turned on in my life. Yeah, I'm going to put all the other things to the side and I'll clarify these at the end because I'll clarify. I read. I read and reread every message that you sent. Those words are deep in my heart. I do check up on you to see what you're doing. That's why they're having this meeting with you because they understand where they lost, how they lost you. You know, they understand how they lost you. Now, are they going to be in denial when it comes to what they're going to do from here? Does that make sense or how they're going to go from there? You know, are they going to be in denial? I don't want to use these cards because I've never used them before. It's, it's a deck that I've had and I don't want to use these. Um, I'll pull tarot. This is a, to me, this tarot deck is more so of a masculine type energy. Wait, what is this one? <clears throat> yeah, I think, um, no, I won't use this one. This is, this is more so dark. I don't really like dark cards, you know, the ones with the dark energy, but this is more so of a masculine energy. So I'll pull this to see what the lockbox is. Lock box is. Look at that card stayed out. What card is this? Oh, uh, the lover's energy. Yep, yep, the lover's energy, you know. This is doing what makes your heart glad, but this is a, uh, this is a connection. This is a union, you know. This is passion. This is love, you know. So the lockbox comes out. That card sits there because this person is passionate about you now, you know. The high priestess energy, you removed your energy. You know, there, the, you know, the lockbox says closed in, trapped, and frustrated. High priestess in reverse is that you removed your energy. You removed your energy and therefore because there was secrets and there was a hidden agenda and it was causing you more harm. And they realized that the hermit energy is in reverse now. So the hermit energy being in reverse is just letting you know that, you know, this is uh, you distancing yourself from this person. And so now they actually feel the effects of you being gone. You know, they actually feel the effects of you being gone, even though they never changed their status from single. So they're still available, but are you? That's what they're trying to worry about. The Empress, the Empress here in reverse, selfish, impatient, and overwhelmed. They realize that they were all of these things towards you, you know, and, you know, that selfishness, you know, because they never wanted to change their status as single. I'm trying to see if my card deck is in reverse and it's not. You know, the poison comes here, toxic, unhealthy behaviors and people, you know, this people were this people, this person was dealing with a lot of toxic. Okay. I just bent my card and I'm mad because I like this card deck, but it'll go back. That's okay. Um, no, nah, it'll be messed up from here on out. Gosh, dog, I'm at the buy some more cards. The death energy, you know, they're ending dealing with toxic behaviors and unhealthy behaviors and unhealthy people and poisonous energy with the death energy. So that is where they are. And also the seven of swords energy, the sneaky energies, you know, they're, they're tired of dealing with it. It's like the poisonous energies. They're tired of dealing with this. The judgment is here. Judgment energy, um, says, um, hold on one second. Let me find it. Where's the judgment? Oh, here it is. Free yourself from whatever holds you back. Embrace your true calling and be reborn. Shed your old life and live according to a higher truth. And that's what they're doing. They're getting rid of all this energy. The Ten of Swords energy is normally, uh, in regular tarot, is sudden endings and failures. They realize where they failed you at and where they failed themselves. Because after they failed you, they realize that they really didn't fail, only fail you, they failed themselves. You know, the bounty hunter is here. You know, the bounty hunter chasing in hot pursuit. Now they're in hot pursuit of you. Yeah, Hierophant energy. Their belief system has changed with the Hierophant energy. Their belief system has changed and therefore they're not in denial anymore of what they really want. Hold on. Okay, yeah. So the Hierophant is here. And with the Hierophant being here, it's just letting you know that, you know, um, your belief system or this person's belief system has changed. In regards to you being the runner and the chaser, their belief system has changed. And now they're looking at things a different way. Denial, not facing the truth, you know, reasoning, irrational. They were irrational. Remember it said drama queen? This person thought you were being a drama queen by you. Okay, the card flew way back here. 
Um, yeah, Ace of Wands energy. Okay, with the Ace of Wands energy, now they're being positive. You know, they're being positive and they're they're gonna take you know take a leap and going after their desires and they because they realize what it is. Um, okay, Justice card comes. The meeting happens with the Three of Swords. They realize the heartbreak that they caused and justice is here. The consequences of their actions are at hand. So now they want to meet with you and they want to keep going from there. You know, uh, bottom of the deck is the Eight of Wands energy. The Eight of Wands energy is travel, movement, and communication. Again, I told you they want to communicate with you. The Four of Swords was you being patient. You know, you being patient and the Eight of Swords is you leaving from this situation. And now they're leaving and coming towards you. Now they're, you know, they see how patient you were with them with the Four of Swords energy being here. And with the Eight of Swords, they, you know, this is them overthinking and criticizing themselves and feeling trapped, you know, and because you were their Queen of Pentacles, you know, but now this Queen of Pentacles has confidence. You know, you're not nurturing the situation. You're nurturing yourself. Look at that. You know, you have confidence now. And their celebration wants to come with you. They want to celebrate with you. No more third parties, though. You know, and the strength is here. They're realizing that you're strong and that you can conquer any type of energies or any type of situations when it comes to life in, in general. And with the Two of Pentacles being here... The two of, two of Pentacles is you've been working on yourself. Maybe two years you've been working on yourself. Now you're juggling your priorities. You're not worried about anybody else's energies. You know, before you were holding on with the strength energy to theirs. You know, you were holding on to them, you know, and, and um, living vicariously through them. But now you're standing up for yourself. You're understanding what your priorities are and you're adapting to every situation and you're doing it with ease. No more juggling. No more juggling. You know, normally in the tarot, it would be you juggling, but you're balancing out your own scales. And here is with the Eight of Pentacles. Now they're working on writing letters and uh, changing and, and journaling like you used to do, you know, journaling like you used to do and 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 ex expressing themselves through um, through writing, you know, and, and saying, you know, boy, I realized how I messed up with cancer, you know? So that's just kind of how I see it because they're, they're sitting up there writing about the memories of you, you know, the memories of you. And even though they don't know what you're going to do, they're going to, and this to me, this card is the moon energy, but look at them. They're, they're facing um, themselves. They're facing their reflections. They're looking at everything that they did to you and how they treated you. And so now that's where the tables have turned. So I'm going to go ahead and pull... Uh, get this up. I'm gonna pick this up and I'll go ahead and pull some of these cards and um, clarify those. Uh, only a couple of them because I don't want to make these reads too long. Um, but you get the gist of it. You know, this person is coming to a realization of what they did and they're being responsible for their actions that they've taken. You know, the consequences of their actions when it came to you and how they lost you and the things that you were just trying to, to say. So again, this person is trying to heal. You know, this person is trying to heal now. It's uh, up to you whether you want to go ahead and be a part of this healing. But, you know, you see they're going to come back to you and start to communicate with you because they realize that a lot of the stuff that they did wasn't right. You know, and so that is where you are with this situation. So now... <clears throat> I'll go ahead and move this card deck. Um, yeah, I'll move this card deck and then we'll go ahead and go from there. So we have, let's see, we have the night. We have stalking. We have detective. You know, they're playing detective. They're watching you. I don't really care about the extrovert. We know that we're talking about the CEO here. This is the energy of the people that you've been dealing with or the person that you've been dealing with. And now, you know, everything... Hmm, I don't know if I want to do that. Leo is in reverse. Um, I think I want to keep this all about this person right now. And then I'll go ahead and um, talk about you um, after the fact, you know. Hold on one second. We have air energy here. We have sage here. And I think, hmm, and the loner. You know, they felt like they didn't need anybody. They felt like they didn't need anybody in Capricorn, the loner in Capricorn. Yeah, this person, 
grip tight anchor way down they felt like everybody was going to weigh them down moving forward i might clarify these energies too but they felt like everybody was going to uh, weigh them down if they brought them along you know so now here it is you removed your energy you're not there at their beck and call anymore they're not as strong as they thought they were the ceo is not as strong as they thought they were the ceo realizes the wounds that they've caused everybody else and therefore you know they're in grief if that makes sense so I'm going to go ahead and pull from the same card deck to see what it is. I don't know. Um, I think I should just pull from what's the tea spill instead of pulling from. Um, yeah, I'll pull from what's the tea spill, I think, instead of pulling from the tarot deck because we haven't done that yet. Um yeah, I just feel like this person is looking at things differently now. And, you know, whether they lost you or not, they're still looking at things differently, you know. And so that is where, okay, Jagged Edge is on. I don't want to. I don't want to. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, anyway, the night energy when it comes to what's the tea. Karma. Yeah, and it came out in reverse but karma. It says revenge. Uh, will never solve anything. Karma will. Someone is getting karma for the pain they cause, receiving a dose of their own medicine. Vice versa, good karma could be repaid. So this knight is receiving karma, and that's the reason why you know you don't you don't wish bad things on anybody, but they're understanding that feeling, that feeling of law of being lost and everything. So stalker comes in at, um, and we're gonna clarify stalker. You know, okay. First of all, uh, three cards fail. They fell in the upright position. Sorry if you see my hair. They fell in the upright position. And yeah, the fifth house. One hobbies, interests, recreational and leisure activities. What one does for entertainment. They're stalking you now because, uh, yeah, eavesdropping. And they regret because they regret the things that they, they did to you. So they're trying to see what you're doing for entertainment. What one does for entertainment. They're looking at everything and they're playing everything uh, through their head like oh my god cancer is with someone else eavesdropping a peeping tom looking over someone's shoulder listening to their private conversations this is person is stalking you so maybe they have access to your old information i'm not sure or where you uh, frequent at but they're regretting someone regrets what they did to you how they treated you and how they contributed to a mess so that is where their energy is i'm glad i did pull from this deck the detective, you know, maybe they hired a detective to see what you got going on because they can't find any information on you. You know, the thing about cancer, if you want somebody to know anything about you, you'll put it in plain sight. If you don't want the yeah, legal contracts, so the detective, somebody, legal issues, bad contracts, this person is trying to see what it is. Or maybe a detective is watching them based upon their bad energies of their business. I don't know how that goes. I don't want to put that energy out there, but it's there. You know, searching, online records, looking for info. Um, later on, uh, I will do another read. Uh, fourth House and Poker Face. This came out in the uh, last read or whatever. But searching for online records and looking for info. Fourth House, one sense of security, family, siblings, parents, ancestry, heritage, roots, one's housing and comfort. This person is trying to see where you are. Poker Face, not showing emotions. Uh, unable to be read, revealing no hint or thoughts or feelings. Look, I just said that if somebody, if you want somebody to find you, you know, then you'll let them. If you don't want anybody to find you cancer or to know what you've been doing, then there's no way and no trace uh, from it because you're very secretive when it comes to your business. You don't put your business out there. Uh, and that way, if somebody, if you're dealing with somebody, that person will know what you're doing at all times. When you remove your energy, that person won't know anything about you. And you don't tell a lot of people your business, so therefore they won't be able to tell anybody your business. And you don't frequent with a lot of people, maybe if this is the type of energy that you're in. So the CEO, the CEO comes out with salty, mad, upset. This person is upset because... You know, or maybe they're not upset. Maybe that could because it did come in reverse. Maybe they're not upset. They're upset with themselves, but not necessarily with you. And that's why it's in reverse because the CEO is upset with themselves. The Leo is in reverse, strength in reverse. You know, um, yeah, having receipts. So, you know, they know you have receipts. Someone has been keeping tabs, taking notes on you, and keeping all your details. So, 
you know, they're trying to figure out what it is that you're doing. If you're seeing someone else or not, the high roller in reverse, you know, the high roller in reverse is letting you know that, you know, they're not doing everything they used to do anymore, you know? And so the card comes out with unimpressed. They're not impressed with what the way that they were, you know, doesn't care about the mundane being, uh, being too good for someone, something not interested. So I think that was your energy. Oh, you did find it. Okay, go play in your room. Did you find the starfish? Or that's the star you were looking for? Oh, the star and the turtle. Okay, go ahead. Amber is recording. Yeah, so, you know, you're, you've are you been unimpressed about... I uh, know. Go back in there. I'll come in there in a second. You've been unimpressed about them being a high roller. I think that's why this is here. So you're just realizing, and they're realizing as well, all the stuff that's happening here, you know, with, with them and their energy. So the air energy is here. You know, the air energy is divorce. Yeah, you broke up. It says broken relationship, lost connections, and severed ties with this air energy. You severed ties with this person. Sage is here. The sage it barely wanted to come out. 11th house, one social group, friendships, personal affiliations, and social life. Remember, you have severed ties with people, and therefore this person is now realizing, and they're doing the same thing. Does that make sense? De wanted dead or alive, a loner. You know, this person is a loner, but you are too. And so you're a learner, loner because this divine union, sacred, sacred unions between two souls, a divinely guided connection coming together, two people on the same team. So here's the thing. You know, this is kind of like the Bonnie and Clyde thing. This is what you wanted. So you were willing to leave everything behind, leave every friend behind and everything behind when it came to this union. But it was fake. Someone who isn't themselves to gain friends or popularity. They see seem very nice to everyone, yet trash talks them behind their back in order to improve their social status. I think this is why you're alone, because you've been with, around fake people, fake friends. Capricorn energy is right here. I'm sorry. The Capricorn energy is right here. Self-destructive patterns. Okay, so, so many cards came out. I'm not going to take these cards, I don't think, but I'll take these because this is giving you enough information right here. So, let me see. Drake is on Marvin's room. Take care. Uh, the album Take Care. I mean, oh, no, this is song Take Care. Marvin's room is the album, but, uh, the Capricorn energy. Oh shit. I didn't see these. Did you see this? Um, anyway, this, the 12th house comes out hidden truths with this Capricorn, the self-destructive patterns, hidden truths, uh, secrets, dreams once has, uh, it says hidden strengths and weaknesses and unconscious and un unconscious and karma. So it's hidden this person, you know, with the self-destructive patterns. It says seventh house. This situation involves someone's partnership, marriage, business matters could be enemies dependent on the situation. So again, I think somebody that this person was dealing with was fake. And you know, that is where it is. It's, you have been more than generous with this person and you want it to be more than just friends. And that's all they wanted was to be more than just friends. Let me look at this. Uh, yeah, there was a sharp tongue, an ex-lover, gorgeous, low vibes, uh, purpose, and hidden agendas is what tried to come out. But I'm not going to take that. We're going to go ahead and pull. Yeah, you wanted to be more than just uh, friends with this person. But this person was only caring about, you know, the people who were fake. Does that make sense? Like, when it says fake friends, you wanted a divine union with them. But you seen through the fake people that they were around. You know, the people that they were around that were just saying any and everything just to be in their presence. Does that make sense? Anchor, chains, way down. Okay. Intimidated. Yeah, now this person uh, is realizing... You know, you were never really intimidated by them, but they're intimidated by you because they, you have more power over them and you're at a distance from them. You're very confident and they're jealous about that. Off grid, being cooped up in their room, not socializing, being a hermit and not on social media. Exactly. That is who you are because of the fact that they can't find any information on you because you don't let your information out there unless you want it to become, to, to be out. Does that make sense? So this is your energy and all they wanted to deal with was groupies. Can't be alone. Always has a partner up with someone tagging along just for the sake of it. And that was what you were willing to do. Like be in that Bonnie and Clyde energy. And yet and still, this is the energy that they're in now. You distance yourself. You're very confident. They're jealous that you went off grid and that you weren't a groupie. And so now they're realizing that. Um, I don't know. Take what resonates in regards to that. That is this energy. I'll go ahead and clarify this other energy here 
with um i'll use this same deck um yeah i'll use the same deck because yeah you've already gotten to the point to where you realize that you know you had to move forward and now they're seeing and they're searching and trying to find information on you to see what you've been up to who you've been talking to and and like things like that does that make sense so this person is trying to find you and information on you and it's so hard to do because you know if you want to be found you will be and so they feel like they're way down and that uh you know sorry they feel like they're way down you're way down you know in regards to this situation so i'll go ahead and clarify this i know this is a little bit longer but um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and clarify this this is your energy you know this person called you a drama queen you know the and uh hold on all you wanted was a romantic uh, relationship. And because of that, you lost your, you, you know, you didn't see the beauty in yourself anymore. You had to go within your higher self and realize that this person could only really be your friend. So your queen, your, your crown was turned upside down because your energy, you kind of looked at yourself in a negative way, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, this person only wanted to be friends and have that desire and wanted to be desirable to everyone but you were done you know you were dumb and you were numb in regards to this situation does that make sense here i'll go ahead and clarify that numb here and uh clinger you know you were holding on to this energy for a while but yet and still let me make sure you can see this yet and see how you can see it yet and still this person you know did not realize what it was that you had to offer for this relationship and now that's why they're researching take care what is this i gotta remember what these are because i don't let me get my rig bag because i know it just just i'm just just letting you know so i'm not going to i'll go ahead and pull from this the what's the tea spill deck I was trying to think if I should pull from the sacred signs and symbols. It says, I've already re I, I, I read, I read and reread every, every message you sent. Uh, those words are deep in my heart. So that's why they're coming back to try to find you. And they're upset because they can't find anything on you. And it says, I do check up on you to see if you're doing, uh, see what you're doing. Well, you're not on a situ in a situation to where you put yourself out there where you can find or they can find you. So that's why you're like, whatever, you can't find me if I don't want you to find me, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm like, yeah, bullshit, bullshit, you know, like, so we're going to clarify that. I reread your messages every day. <clears throat> first house, one sense of identity, how they express themselves, uh, their first impressions they give off. So this person rereads it, but he doesn't respond to it. You see what I'm saying? So it's how he expresses himself in his first house. I do check up on you to see what you're doing, but they won't tell you. Yeah, because they, they always act a fool. Someone who knows they are being childish and goofy, but doesn't care when the situation calls for maturity. So they can check up on you and look, but they called you a drama queen. Remember, you know, they wanted you. They, it made basically made you feel like you were thirsty. Drama queen, because of the fact that all you wanted was a relationship and they were saying, why are you trying to trap me? Something like that. Does that make sense? So they called you a drama queen and you're just like, no, I, I know what's best for you. I know what's best for me. I know what I want. And that doesn't make me a drama queen. I'm just bringing things up to light that I feel like I need to say. Ninth house. This situation involves someone's belief system, religions, and ideologies, higher learning, travel, and philosophy. So just because I want this doesn't mean you know, that I'm being a drama queen, false twin flame. Now you're realizing that this was a false twin flame to you, balling, having luxury lifestyles, wanting and having the most expensive things in life, pockets full. So they want to keep having that and think that this will stop them if you go through that. And so they kept breaking your heart, heartbreaker, a person who can break, break hearts easily. Everyone wants them, but not everyone can have them. So they're calling you a drama queen because that's not what they want. So with the queen being in reverse, they made your crown, they made you lose your crown because you lost confidence in yourself. You know, you lost confidence in yourself and therefore the fifth house, 
you lost confidence in yourself and you didn't do the normal things that you would do, you went into hermit mode. One's hobbies, interests, recreational and leisure activities, what one does for entertainment. You stop even going to do stuff for yourself. Stop creating. You lost your creativity. And that's the reason why, you know, you had to rethink and see the beauty in yourself again because you lost that as well. We're clarifying creativity. All right. It comes out with deranged. This person felt like you, because you were so creative that you were deranged, weird, strange, and a twisted individual. But you were just a creative. You like things the way you wanted them. Romantic in reverse. You realize that this person was never going to give you the romance that you desired, you know? He wasn't going to whine and dine you only when it's, yeah, because he's a distorted masculine. Abuse of power, force, domination, fear of weakness, com uh, competition, driven inability to praise another. They wouldn't praise you. They wouldn't give you that, and they made you feel like you were deranged and crazy because of the things that you like to do. Beauty, okay? Beauty in reverse, second house, everything this person is in in this situation may own and claim as theirs money possessions their own self-worth they only cared about their self-worth they never seen the beauty in you and you lost uh you couldn't even see the beauty in yourself after all was said and done higher self you went with them and you started to you know reclaim your power yeah because it felt like you were being backstabbed backstabbed you know betrayal disloyalty doing you wrong betraying your trust so you had to use your higher self and you felt numb you know at the same time you felt numb okay first of all i'll go ahead and take them but you felt numb you know you felt numb yeah this ex-lover made you feel numb you know you lost your confidence you know projecting pointing out actions of someone else but really they are the things you do so they they made you feel numb because you were pointing it out and they try to reverse the roles on you. You know, they try to reverse the roles because they were trying to make you feel crazy. Uh, Earth Angel, someone good and pure with honest intentions, kind hearted, keeps it real. You felt that way. You kept it real with everything that you wanted, but this person tried to make you feel less than, you know, friends. All they wanted to be was friends, you know. They didn't want nothing else from that, even though, you know, they wanted that lustful side of you, the sexual side. Hold on one second. So all they wanted to be was friends. And so unthinkable, I'm ready is on by Alicia Keys. All they wanted to be was friends. And you were just like, you know, you wanted more than that. I hate when these cards fall out like this. Um, but now they're stalking you. Someone is stalking you on social media or by means possible, often checking up on you, keeping tabs and watching you. So that is now that they want to be friends. They wanted to be friends back then, but now they're watching you and stalking you. Hooked. Yeah, addicted to someone or something. Now they're hooked to you. Self-love. You're practicing self-love. And it says loving yourself just the way you are. Not dimming yourself to fit another person. Uh uh, not to fit other people's perceptions, self-care, and interview beauty. You see the beauty in yourself now. Stressed out. At one point, you were stressed, but this person was irresponsible. You know, lack of count accountability, careless about consequences of their actions. Can't You can't rely on them. You knew that. Hold on one second, you guys. Hold on. Yeah, so they were irresponsible. They couldn't give you what you needed and what you wanted. They only cared about themselves and their bottom line. You know, so that is where you are insatiable. They just wanted the sexual aspects of you. You know, at this point, it was like uh, they wanted more sex. They wanted more of the lust and the sexual chemistry about, you know, with you. Once you realize that you were done. Let me clarify clinger because I didn't clarify clinger. Um, yeah, you were done once you realized that and you brought you put yourself at a distance. You know, you put yourself at a distance, a strong emotional commitment to another who is far away and often beyond physical access most of the time. You were clinging to it, but you distanced yourself so that you can get through this. The truth was uh, unveiled. It says the truth has been or will be revealed in a situation soon. Secrets have been kept hidden that will come out. And so this person now realizes all of the things that were being hid. Uh, sharp tongue. This person has no filter saying nasty ish has tendency to say very critical things about people. So that was the energy that they were in, but you still were clinging to this person and it was chemistry there. However, you know, you weren't falling into that. So we're going to clarify insatiable. The card comes out with, yeah, uh, toxic ways. I can see it on the floor. 
toxic ways. It says bad habits, addictions, can't stay away from harmful substance. So this could be the toxic ways, harmful substance or harmful abuse, mental abuse. You know, somebody just doing things their own way, desires, lust, chemistry comes out with no money, no talk. So all they wanted to do was talk about money and sex, you know, not, not wanting to talk unless money is involved, hustling, getting the, uh, get into the bag at all costs, you know, sexual, mental is toxic, you know, codependent, toxic ways, but you were done with this situation. You, you, you know, the completion is here more than friends. You knew that they, you guys couldn't be more than friends because it came out in reverse. So you were done with the situation and that's where we are. Seventh house at the bottom of the deck. This situation involves someone's partnership, marriage, business matters, could be enemies depending on the situation. And that's how you felt in regards to dealing with this other person. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at this. I don't think I need to pull tarot in regards to this. I will pull one more. Um, yeah, you had to see the beauty in yourself. Look at that. She's wiping her tears off, cleaning her makeup, fixing herself up, you know, because she realized that she was sabotaging her own self. And so that is where you are. Let me go ahead and pull from uh, Find Your Soulmate deck, this one, uh, and go from here because I just feel like, you know, you knew these these are your emotions the back and forth of what you went through and how you got out of it but this is dealing with your energy you versus them you know your energy versus their energy and what it is and where they are now you know uh so cancer you have you know you're you're peaceful now you're not you're unbothered you're not worried but this person will try to show their face the more love and care you give yourself hey 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 the more love and care you give yourself, the more love you have to give others. And so you already realized that. And this person did too. In the end, you tried. And hey, I know pretty. Hold on. In the end, you tried and you cared. And sometimes that's enough. All right, you guys, I'm going to end this. She's behind me. It's her nap time. And that's why she's singing. She's avoiding it. I love you guys. Um, so please like, share, subscribe. Um, and all of the information that you need, the card decks, everything that I have about me, my, my placements are down in the description box. Um, the links to the card decks are in there. Um, my email is in there. Everything you need to get in contact with me is there. I will open up um, extended reads soon, and also I will take private reads, and I'm going to start going live. Um, so there you have it. I love you guys. Bye-bye. You made it to the end, and thank you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be notified when I come on. Let's say an affirmation. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and also addictions. Addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation.